It was by faith that they joined as one. Nelson and Lily, united in love on March 10, 1974. Today, we celebrate their remarkable journey, a testament to love, faith, and unwavering dedication. Ang first impression ko sa kanya, matanda siya. <laughs> Kasi at that time, I was still in high school when I first met him. And he was already in college. So, siyempre, ang tingin ko sa kanya, matanda na siya. Ever since nung nakita ko siya, sweet, uh, tahimik, shy, tinamaan ako nun. Hindi ko naman siya talaga tight. <laughs> Nabasted ko na siya. Anyway, nung lumiligaw ko, pati, pati teacher niya, niligaw ako. <laughs> Saka kung lumiligaw ako, batal yun eh. Yung pati barkada ko, makuuna. Ako huli, gano'n eh. Pero bastard pala yun eh. <laughs> anyway, kung in love ka, gagawin mo, mas kailangan na doon. <laughs> Lahat na paraan. Sabihin, going to mass, sama sa mga day, invited me to Makati, yada. Oh my God, nung, nung nasa yung rights ng ano, decorores, yung... Umiyak ako ng gusto, kabe. Natouch ako sa mga ano, kanta, mga ano, comments. Hindi niya alam na nandun ako. I was shocked na nakita ko siya. Sige, ba't nandito yan? <laughs> Parang tiyunti. It was a developed feeling actually. Kasi very persistent siya, very patient. So nakita ko yung matyaga siya. So nasa loob ko, ah, uh, Buting tao nito, mabait na tao nito kasi <laughs> mapit na kay Lord, di ba? So, unti-unti na-develop naman yung feeling ko sa kanya. Yun, nababaitan na ako sa kanya. Blessed with seven children and seven grandchildren, their love has multiplied through generations weaving a tapestry of joy and memories that binds their family together. When we were young, I remember that my parents loved going to the mall. They would hold hands together and then sobrang kilig namin pag nakikita namin sila na nag holding hands. They do everything together. Yan, lagi magkasama yan, darong yan. Uh, sa pag travel or whatever, lagi magkasama. Here Mass, then we go catechism. And then they always instill with us, like, we also attend the mga LSS. Ganyan. In the surface, my dad is a jokester, but my mom is a pinaka sotel. She's, she's very, very comedic. Si mommy mahilig mag shopping. I don't know if everybody knows, but she can actually spend the whole day just shopping. She also loves to decorate the house, like, parang. Minsan uuwi kami, iba na yung posisyon ng sofa, iba na yung posisyon ng dining table. Si Daddy meron siyang trait na pag fascinated siya into something, yun yung gusto lang niyang gawin, yun lang yung dapat niyang, yun lang yung gusto niyang bilhin or something. One time, we went to this restaurant, tapos may kapareho siya ng t-shirt. Sobrang hiyang-hiya siya, lumabas siya, bumili siya ng bago kasi super ayaw niya na may kapareho ng damit, nahihiya siya. Our parents are very, parang strict but balanced in a way because they also instill fun. Very supportive, no? They're just very protective. At the same time, uh, they also want you to grow and be independent. And that's really important kasi it's so hard for one person to be so sheltered in life. Now you'll always be in your comfort zone, and I think that's the most important thing that I've learned from my parents. When it comes to my parents' relationship, like the thing I learned the most is you don't have to be a perfect to have a lasting relationship. You just have to be perfect together. And they have the ups and downs. You know, my, there's always going to be arguments from the little things, from the big things. But at the end of the day, they always seem to be together. We're always. Um, they always apply how important family is, and it's just a little blip in the radar in the entire love story. Kumbaga. Uh, mommy would be uh, mas focus sa uh, kids sa family. Siya yung talaga nakatutok sa amin, lalo na pag uh, sa school, yeah, breakfast, she makes sure everything is okay, nandyan, lahat ang baon, lessons. So, mom is more focused. Si daddy would be, I think, the provider talaga, and moral support.
their journey is marked not only by personal milestones, but by their impact in the wider world. Leaders in global charitable organizations, business, religion, and local social causes, they've dedicated themselves to serving others. When I was in Manila, a young student, I was given a job as a handling a Chinese restaurant in Chinatown. So many years, tapos I engaged in the, at that time, maganda yung stock market eh. May PO noon, ang gandang investment doon eh. Then I made some money there. Then, I was transferred here to handle the stock exchange here. Then my father, yung distillery na namin dati sa Mangardan, and um, selling some of their estates. We ventured into a, a business na car accessories. But before that, I was helping also sa company business. And then yun nga, nag-open kami ng business sa car accessories. The lives are a testament to the power of love in action. They've touched countless lives and inspired others to do the same. In terms of service with Rotary and Inner Wheel, both my parents are very active, no? um, and they do it not just in terms of financially. Number one, in terms of service, they really give their time in, in serving the community through Rotary and Inner Wheel. In terms of finance, naman, um, I know that they are very generous in terms of donating, not only locally but also globally. In the Rotary International Foundation. My parents are very, very active with BCBP. Give time to God and and what's important is you give time to us to actually instill to us or make us apply the same things. Kasi parang bisa na baso ka lang, nakikinig lang pala sila ng homily. Na parang it's a random day, it's a random time, and yet they're still, they're still there, they're giving their time to God. It's one way of uh, bonding nila sa pag-isa. Brings joy to you and your partner. And of course, it spreads towards your family. Their children stand as living proof of their love and guidance. Successful individuals shaped by the values of faith, family, and community instilled in them by Nelson and Lily. Most of these are not our children. <laughs> He's a home, he's really a homemaker. I, I have to admit that. Talaga siya lahat na ako papitipiti. But I should my concern naman every time. Although may medyo hirap na mag-alaga ng bata kasi sa dami nila. But I would say na wala naman talagang naging problema. In fact, uh, I would say that there are blessings from God. Kasi Hindi sila nagbigay ng problema sa amin. I always say that my children are my treasures, no? Kasi para sa akin, sila yung importante sa buhay ko eh. And their achievements for me are more important than my own achievements. Sa, sa, sa totoo lang. And I'm very grateful to God because they are always in the honor roll, no? Siyempre, pag honor ang anak mo, maakit ka lagi sa stage, di ba? So yun ang mga proudest moments mo. And also, yung mga... Marami ring nagko-comment na, oh, mabait ang anak mo, ha? yung mga ganon. Hindi kami siguro nagkulang sa pagpapalaki sa mga anak namin. Their love, a beacon of hope, and inspiration has illuminated the path for those around them. The love with God, the love with the family, and the love with the community, it goes hand in hand. Because we've seen them do charity works, because we've seen them actively engage in these organizations, we didn't realize that we were doing the same things, we were applying the same things. Kami mismo, as their children, we've learned about sharing, we've learned about giving. I learned how to be humble through, through them, like even it's like, oh, I have something but I want to share it with other people. It's actually telling us how to be a good person, how to be, uh, to be able to share our blessings to everyone. And with that, the community also loves them back. That's why I remember my dad always saying that you can always earn money, but you can never ever earn camaraderie. And that's something that 
I would always work on you should always treat everybody the same way and love them the same way and they will love you back. For me, at this point of our life, when I look back to the past, I would only be grateful to God. God has been so good to us that, uh, you know, with all our children, they are all our blessings. And even though there are trials that came into our life, still, we made it to this golden wedding anniversary. That alone, it's really a great gift from God. Talagang, you have given your best to love me. I thank God that I have you. Teach me how to still love you more. And uh, for being good to all our kids and grandkids, I really appreciate that, of what you're doing to them, taking care of them, taking care of me also. I thank God. In serving God, in serving family, and in serving community and humanity, Nelson and Lily have left an indelible mark on the world, a testament to the enduring power of love. I love you forever and ever. I love you more forever.